All right, guys, welcome to episode 121 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the fucking like button, all right? Hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go down in the description, hit T Spring, get yourself a little sign, get your wife a little sign. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, support, get your dog, support. get your dog something. Too. You know what I mean? We got dog hoodies, all types of shit. Just go down there and support, all right? But it's Thursday, week's almost over. How we feeling? How we feeling? How we feeling? Yo, feeling good, feeling good. We out here, man. We almost done with the week. The weekend's coming up. Hey, you know what I mean? What you doing this weekend, bro? Round of applause. Same shit I always do. Stay the fuck home. Stay Mind home. my business. <laughs> Stay home, tranquilo. Mind my business, bro. You know what I'm saying? Work on some shit. That's about it. That's about it, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, brother. I feel you. What you getting into, bro? Nothing, man. Been smoking. Been chilling. Been hanging out. Um, I went to the beach. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Get a little tan on. I don't really go out too much like I used to. Man, shut your ass. I used to go out a lot more. You go out. I go out when it's free. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I tried to. I tried to. Word. You know what I mean? <coughs> I try to be as cheap as possible when I go out sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> yeah, I Yeah, that's another you know? reason, bro. Like, everybody don't got it like that. Like, I can't go out for free. So, yeah. when I go out, I be having to spend 150 200 200 I'm straight. Yeah. Like, I'm good. Yeah, fuck I'm, that. I'd rather save that so I could get my apartment complex next year. This, straight the fuck up. This weekend, I didn't I didn't do shit. Last week, I went to a quinceanera. That's pretty Normal much shit, it. bro. Yeah, Normal I, I shit, went to bro. the Normal beach. Shit. Enjoyed the, the nature. It's Word. Nice. Yeah, nah, facts. Yeah, facts. Out. But yeah, bro, fucking y'all go down in the comments and let us know what it is that y'all doing for the weekend, what y'all got planned, you know what I'm saying, all that good jazz, all that good shit. Fuck yeah. But listen, Fuck man, yeah, man. Something, something that ain't good jazz, something that ain't good shit, it's shitty jobs, all right? I've had a few of them, I've had to work my ass off, I've had to sweat, you know what I'm saying, I've had to do it all, bro. Lift shit, you know what I'm saying, detailed cars where people fucking threw up and all types, like nasty fucking jobs, bro. You know what I mean? What are some of the jobs you've had, bro, that are shitty? Um, I had a fencing job I used to do, uh, construction fencing. And uh, it was just the metal fencing, pretty yeah, much, you like know? The, yeah. The cheap fencing, whatever. And uh, we, I would just be, uh, sometimes I'll go out of state. Sometimes I'll just go to North Carolina sometimes, drive out there, uh, help them fix up the, some of the fucking uh, the warehouses that they had. It was kind of fucked up, so they would send us. Mm-hmm. It was a family-owned company. It was shitty. Yeah, it was shitty because shitty. Then I would be more like at the. I was a warehouse guy, mm-hmm. so I would be outside. But this wasn't a warehouse. This was like a fucking field. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I felt like I was out there like being a fucking slave, bro. I was cutting fucking metal pipes, and it w- the sparks would fucking fly out and fucking hit me in the face. So I have to wear this mask, and then I had to wear gloves because. Thank God I didn't have my tattoos by then Because it probably would have been fucked up Yeah it would have fucked your shit That shit was sparking up Landing on my hand Burning my hand And then like there was a welder on the, Like next to me that, that was his job He welded all the pipes that I was cutting Because he would have to make stands for the fences Because the fences aren't going to be stuck in the ground Because they're not permanent They're just temporary So they, that's what they did They made right. the fucking stands And they'll just pop them in there and like right. that's what we did all day. <laughs> and then when the trucks came, we would that's have to fun. unload it with the with the forklift. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then like, yeah, it was trash, bro. Like it was. We were. I was always out in the sun. Always that out in the sun. Like ass. Then I had just floors. I worked there for about a year. Then I got you the job, and we were yeah, fucking that hanging job out. Was fucking dick. I'm glad that I had him there because it was like probably the the shitty one of the shittiest jobs I ever had. And I wanted him to experience what the fuck was going on, but. It was nice because I get to have my boy. You know what I mean? Chilling there. Yeah, no, nah, I've had plenty of shitty jobs by that point. At yeah. that point, I was like, I don't give a fuck. It's just another shitty it's, job. Yeah, it's just another job. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just another You're fucking like, job. You're like, yo, they're hiring? Like, yeah, like, fuck. Uh, fuck it. I need a job. That's where I'm going to go work. But It was good. Yeah, time. nah, bro. Like, all fast food, all food, period. I worked at five-star restaurants. All that shit's trash. Working yeah. in the kitchen is trash. Um, What else, bro? Yeah, I working, did, um, <laughs> working in the kitchen. I've never working done in that. the kitchen is fucking ass. That you don't like want to, bro. It's, sounds like the it's, worst. It's stressful, bro. It's like it's just it's not fun. I don't know how people find that shit fun. I mean, like unless you're like the head chef in that bitch, and you're that's running even the more whole, stressful. I bet that's even more I stressful. Bet, but you, everything you really falls got, on you. You really, you really got to enjoy that shit. Like you, you really, really got to love it. Yeah, you got to love it, bro. There's a difference between loving something and enjoying something. 
Yeah. Like there's people that, that love what they do, but they don't really, necessarily yeah. enjoy it, but they yeah. love it so much that they do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. As long as you, you like what you do, then fuck it, man. Yeah. That's all it that really matters, guys. Like, you don't be- don't get lost up in this whole social media era shit. Like, bro, do what makes you happy. Happiness is the real goal. That's the real success. You know what I'm saying? It don't yeah. matter if you got a hundred million in the bank account. If you're miserable, nigga, you're miserable. Yeah, like you're like that's a shitty lifestyle. You yeah, I mean? fuck like, that, bro. Life is too, way too short. If you yeah, think if bro, you think facts. that you think that you got enough time in this world, then you're fucking nuts. Yeah, nah, bro. You gotta you gotta you gotta live your life, bro. But you know, like statistics are in our favors, bro. Like. Like, we talk about that all the time. Most people are going to live a decent amount. Like, most people are going to live 70, 80, 90 years. Like, it's just numbers are in your favor when it comes to that. But don't waste your days. Like, just don't waste your days on shit that don't make you happy. If you don't like your job, get find another one. You're not a fucking tree. Yeah. If you don't like your city, move away. If you don't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, there are choices and you can make it happen. You know what I'm saying? But that just leads right into like staying, staying down, down till you come up, bro. Yeah. You just gotta stay down till you come up. Stay down. We 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 went, you know what I'm saying? We went through a lot of bullshit, worked a lot of shitty jobs, you know what I'm saying? And and ultimately, bro, like, listen, you just gotta stay down till you come up. Your opportunities are gonna come. Whether you take advantage of them is up to you. Yeah. But those opportunities will pop up eventually. You know what I'm saying? You pay your dues, it goes a long way. I'm telling you, man, you pay your dues and you be a man in your word. Facts. Goes a yeah, long way. Bro, listen, man, integrity, respect. Like, we've talked about it before, bro. When it comes to business, man, like, real businessmen move with integrity. They move with respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't fuck other people over. They do good business. They're not out here trying to finesse and scheme and do this and do that. Like, they're trying to do good business yeah. so that you come back and keep doing business. Yeah, I'd rather you know take, I rather take an L than lose my integrity. Yeah. And, nah, that, that's a and, that, and that's, Listen, and that's, bro, a, that's but a big deal. A lot of people ain't like that, bro. When it comes to integrity, bro, money can buy that for some people. You know what I'm saying? Like, money money can buy somebody's integrity, you know? Like, they'll be down all the way until they see some money they've never seen before, and then they switch up because it's like, damn, nigga, like, damn, they're talking about $10 million, bro. What the fuck? Let me just take this real quick. But it's like, if you got to change yourself, change who you are, and do all this other shit just to, like, make money, bro, it's like, yeah, that's kind of whack. You know what I'm saying that's kind of whack, but fuck that, all that. That is kind of whack. Listen, you know what's what's not whack? Nah, bro. It's when they started selling Plan B through the fucking drive thru All right, I'll tell you what. Damn, I got, <laughs> the first time the first time I ever bought a Plan B, bro, that was about maybe like three years ago. The first time I ever really, really Damn, bought. You're one. young in the game, bro. Yeah, bro. Like I don't, I didn't really fuck raw like that. I've always fucked with a condom. I don't know why Man You're an anomaly I'm not gonna lie I've always fucked with a condom Even though like I've been like Man like I really want to But I'm like nope 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 And you know what bro <sighs> You know, what and, you know what's crazy is, Except for fe- one person If though. I felt like I had to put a condom on I just didn't wanna fuck you But there was times That condom broke <laughs> And I was just like shit And that's what happened I, The condom broke with this chick And uh, I was like Listen I don't wanna take no risk You know what I mean Cause I was fucking you for a while And the condom broke I didn't know Facts So what I'm gonna do Is I'm gonna buy you a plan B she was like, all right, that's fun. Yeah, no, facts. I made a fucking, well, when I went in and I bought it, I'm skipping a part. When Don't I went tell me out, you made her go to, go get it. You're no, no, I went, no, no, I actually, <laughs> I, I went to go get it. And when I, when I stood in line, uh, I walked up to the lady and I asked her, I said, yeah, can I get the plan B, whatever? And she was just like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. That's, you're really responsible. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> well, I had a completely different fucking experience. I went through the drive through asked for the pill. When I went to go pay for it, uh, the lady looked at me with a face of fucking disgust. She looked at me like, you're a piece of shit. I know what this is for. You're about to kill a child. Fuck you. Hurry up. Get out of my fucking drive through I swear to God, that's how she looked at me. Bro. Women don't realize how bad that shit is for you. Like, Nah, I think they do, but I think that it's better. 18 years of child support, <laughs> child support is fucking worse. Yeah. Having to deal with that shit is worse than to fucking take that pill. You know what I'm saying? People but think people it, think guys, that. listen, we're not condoning just being careless and doing, you know what I'm saying, just having careless sex and then just going to get plan B. That's not what that's for. But if it slip bro, if it happens and it, you know, neither one of y'all, y'all are on the same page where it's like, bro, we're not even trying to do this. It's like, listen, go go do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People like, need to realize when you have sex, it's like there is a chance of you having a fucking kid. There's a big responsibility that comes with that. Yeah. That's why, I, that's exactly why I just told you. Like, if I ever felt like I had to put on a condom with you, then it means I don't trust you. 
Like, yeah. I can't trust you. And if I can't trust you, then I'm not laying with you. Because if I get you pregnant. Yeah, then you're just going to fall. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. just, it's, a, it's a domino effect. Mm -hmm. Like, I've thought, bro, I've had the same wisdom, bro, for a lot of years, bro. I just never used it. Like, I just used to be fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know what's right. You know what's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is another chick, though, that I smashed that was that was one time. And it was it was no condom. But it was crazy. It was a great experience. And nothing ever happened. And I got lucky. Hey bro, but, sometimes uh, hey bro, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't, man. So, <laughs> so that's the game, bye you know what I'm saying? That's how I go. But listen, nah. man. We're gonna take y'all back to a better time, right? A better time back before FaceTime. Before, <laughs> All right? Back in back in two thousand and two thousand and fucking nine, two thousand and ten. Two thousand and eleven. You know what I'm saying? It was it was Uvu times. You yeah, know what I mean? you we get had on the your little Uvu. You show your tit. You show your little fucking nip. You, know what I mean? you show your left, you show your right, and you show your twat right in the fucking middle. You hear me? And that's what you do. Nah, that was back in the day. I used to bring my fucking elephant trunks out, and I used to fucking <laughs> swing it around, swing it around town on this fucking cam, like a and, fucking ceiling fan, and, bitch. And, and that was, <laughs> and that was when fucking we had the little the little Ooh. iPhones that just came out. Yeah, bro. Listen, got, my I, well, said, I, I, I didn't have no iPhone back then. Yeah. I didn't get on the iPhone until like two years ago, but still. Like, it was just a different time, man. That I had an iPod, too. Was fucking dip oh, no, I, I had iPods. Well, they had the iPod Touch, and then they had... Remember that? And it was, like, not even a phone. That was a stupid era. Yeah. It was the iPod Touch, so you had the iPod and the phone. You had the iPhone, but it wasn't a phone. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You had the iPod Touch and then the phone, and they're the same thing, but one can't make calls and the other can't fucking listen to music. And you're yeah. just like... That was a finesse. They got our... <laughs> Yeah. That's why they were like, yo, we can't keep finessing up this bad, bro. We go out to give them, like, both of them in one. You know we, used to, we used to have CD players. I remember that. If you, CD if, players? Yeah. Yo, shout out to my sister. Yo, she was the fucking person to go to for CDs on the block. Yeah. But, like, niggas would come up to her like, bro, with a list. Yeah, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> yo. Like, for real. That was a different era. I remember those days, bro. Those days were, were fucking fire, bro, I had too. Get Rich or Die trying. Me too. All in a fucked up order, though. I didn't have the real CD. My boy I, I had it. Like, had my it sister wrong. burnt it. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, fuck it. Like, I just had it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was a good era, bro. It was, man. That was, was a good time. I feel like I don't remember what you did. Or I mean, like, what I did in 2020. Do you remember what you did in 2020? I feel like after 2020. Consistently work. That's it. <sighs> I mean, like, I really don't remember. Like anything that's like major that happened in twenty and twenty, besides yeah, my brother's nah. graduation, I feel like it's like all delusional. Nah, we lost we lost people in twenty twenty. Yeah, bro. we I did. lost two uncles in a, yeah, a couple we did. weeks. I'm you know just I'm talking saying? about throughout the other times though. Like I just felt like time's crazy, bro. How fast? How fast we're yeah, moving? Shit. Like you look back and you don't realize how fast time's moving, but a lot's happened. Yeah, a lot, a yeah. lot has happened in the last year. The last two years, you know what I'm saying. You try, but, you try not to think about the past too much. You try to, and you try not to think about the future too much either. People, hey, need bro, it, it's yeah. human. It's your human, the human brain, bro. It wanders, yeah. and and you think back. You're like, damn, bro, I wonder what would have happened if this person's still around, or what would have happened if this happened. Mm -hmm. You think about the future. Like I'm more based on the future, though. Yeah. Like I'm thinking ahead, ahead. Like I'm not yeah. thinking next year, two, three years. I'm thinking 10, 15, 20 years down the line, bro. Like yeah. that's how I'm starting to move now. Like yeah. when, I was, when you, you know, start fearing for the future, that's when things starts. That's when things start going downhill. When you start fearing for it, there's a difference of like looking forward to it, and then there's ones that's like, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel I'm like start being paranoid. Like, I feel like it's good for you, depending on how you use it. Fear could be good yeah, for anybody. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like you should just be more focused and not worry about it. Like if you're focused about it, it's good. But if you're worried about it, that's not good. That's that's how I look at it. I really feel like if that's how you are and you're worried, think about today. And what you can do about today. Everybody's mind is different, bro. Yeah. And ultimately, you have to think for the future. Like, yeah. if you care about your life and where you want to be in the next 15, 20, you have to think about that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, you just just don't worry about it. For people worrying. You know what I mean? It's ultimately, yeah, bro. Like, you can't worry too much, bro. But it, it's yeah. a good thing. Like, use the fear, bro. Like, it's okay to be scared. It's okay to think about some shit that might happen and be like, fuck, bro, I have to do this before that happens. Like, yep. Just use it for good. Don't let it paralyze you. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because there's fight, fight or flight. Mm -hmm. Like, 
something something scares you, you're either gonna fight it or you're gonna fucking run away from it. Just fight that shit. You know yep. what I'm saying? But that ass. But ultimately, man, fucking listen, man. Times are changing, bro. Another thing that's changing is the way weddings are fucking happening, right? So our question to the ladies this time is: Listen, what is your perfect wedding? All right. Do you need a cake? Do you need a fucking horse and a carriage? Do you need fucking somebody dropping roses? What's, what's your perfect fucking wedding, ladies? I want to know. Do you need fucking flowers f- flying in the fucking air? Do you need Do you fucking... Need doves fucking flying across the background? The way that they propose, does it have to be something special in a special location? Does it have to be like... I don't know. You tell me, ladies, because like everybody's different. Everyone's different. So some people need something simple at the courthouse. Like, stamp, you're fucking married. Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? And have facts. a good fucking day. You know what I mean? And then there's yeah. some that's like, nah, I need I need that special yeah, day. Like I need yeah. the day. I need the wedding. I need the whole nine. The I need, dress. I need the horse. The veil that catches on fire. I need the horse <laughs> cock. <laughs> <laughs> I need something. You know what I mean? And a lot of women be acting out before they get married. They start wearing. They're like, oh, shit, fuck, man. I need to fucking fuck six guys before I get fucking married. Because <laughs> goddamn. Do you think that's low-key what a bachelor party and what a fucking bachelorette party is for? Bro, there's a fucking girl that I met at the bar. You were there. You were actually there. It was on my birthday. And she came up to me and she was like, oh, my God, it's been such a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, and she was about to get married in about a week. She's like, oh, yeah, why don't you take my number? And I was like, yeah, well. That's crazy. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And I was like, ladies, man, look, bro, y'all are some fucking, (laughs) y'all be low-key. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be low-key pimping out here, bro. Nah, the men, too. The men, too. The men be out here wilding the fuck out before they get married. They're both, they're like, fuck, man, I'm about to tie a fucking chain and a ball to my fucking leg for the next fucking 56 years. (laughs) Listen, man. Look, bro, if you're not ready, if that's, how you're, if that's how you're thinking, don't get married. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because at that point, it's just like, I feel like there's couples out there that by the time they get married, it's like, yo, y'all already been married type shit. Like, y'all been doing what a married like couple does already for years, so it's not that big of a change. But for some people, it's, you're right, bro. Like, some people think about it and they're like, dude, I ain't never going to hit no other pussy ever again. Nah, <laughs> You got three days, 36 hours, and four fucking minutes. Before till you your whole fucking, life is fucking over. Till it's all over, baby. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, bro. But there's a lot of people in relationships like that, bro. You're right. But ladies, again, if you want a fucking perfect fucking wedding, let us know. If you don't, then whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, it listen, is what it is. It. Fuck them. You'll get a 10 piece and a fucking medium fry. How <laughs> yeah. about that? Fuck out of here. It's you. not about the... Materialistic <laughs> shit It's not about the doves It's not about Yo, the fucking Yo can I just propose With a 10 piece bro A fry and a fucking McFlurry Is yeah. that you know what I mean? Like, just pull up, like, on some, like, yo, it baby, depends. come on, what's up? What it depends. Doing? Like, there's little things, like, I don't think you need to do a big ass wedding if you're gonna take care of a kid that's not mine. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, if, if they come with a package, like, bitch, I don't need to fucking <laughs> give you a fucking big ass wedding. You're coming with a package already. That's yeah, costing me a lot of fucking money. You see how this piece of shit guy fucking thinks over here? Nah, huh? hey, hey, who else is gonna take you? <laughs> let's, be, let's keep it a buck. Who else is gonna fucking take you? I want to know. Is it going to be fucking Billy over there? No, listen, no. no. Look, that's something that people have to really get fucking, you know, in grips with. That's some real shit. Whether you're man or woman. Like, if you have kids, that's an automatic, like, little red flag where it's like, people that don't have kids, bro, don't want to be dating people with kids. A lot of the times. Yeah. Some people be like, I don't care if we're in love, this and that. But some people are just like, me personally, bro, I really don't want to date somebody with kids. Like, I, it's just. Yeah, me neither. I'm I want to like, experience that shit for the first time with somebody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, exactly. It's not the same to me, bro. It's not the same. And I really feel like me taking care of your kid, that means that I really fucking love you. Yeah. If I take care of your kid, bro. Yeah, that's big. <laughs> That's a big thing. I haven't yet though, so <laughs> I haven't. You know what I mean? Yeah, like bro, I'm not. I'm not up. on that vibe. Have I tried it before? Yeah, absolutely. But For I'm real? not. Yeah, like I wanted to be a stepdad once, and I was just like, "Fuck it, I'll do it." You know what I mean? I love her. I oh, love her. She she put this nigga's dick tip in a fucking headlock. And then That's I was just like, I was like, "Well, you need to give me one too." And she was like, "Nah." And then I was like, "Nah." Oh yeah, yeah, nah. If you're not Fuck gonna give me one, well, like, look, yeah. That's the thing. It's like. <clears throat> I don't want to fucking date a woman with kids, but I will if it's the right person and we're vibing. Yeah. But yeah, that's a big thing. Like we got it. Like you got to get me a kid too. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it can't be like, oh, I have my kid and, and that's, that's it. it. It's like, no. okay, well, I'm going to go have my kid. <laughs> like, and call me selfish all you want, but lit- like, again, like, that's already coming with a package. And on top of it, like, you had that happy experience. I want to experience that too. Because life is all about I mean, experiences. It might have not been a happy experience. That's why they don't want to do it again. Well, but that's not like that's it's not still not fair. Yeah, that's not it's the case. Not yeah, the case is like, listen, you already went through it. it. Bad experience or not, I still want to experience it. Exactly. Now, fact. Yeah, and Big it's facts. like some people just don't understand it. They don't have that type of like consideration for you. You know what I mean? Like that's that's what Round it comes of down applause, to. Man, Round of applause. That was deep. No, that's facts, and it, that's really what it comes down to. It comes down to being considerate and under, like thinking like, like, yo, like this. Guy actually deserves this. Like, he's proven... He's proving himself that in a family setting. He's already taking care of my kid. You know what I'm saying? He wants another kid. He wants, he wants a me, family. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? He you wants to give me his seat. And that's big. Right, like, right. what the fuck? Like, that's respect that as it is. Listen, but, I'm nah, going to keep it a bug, bro. When it comes to getting married, though, like, when it comes to getting married, in my opinion, it benefits the woman more than the man. Yeah. In the long run. Yeah, in the long run, yeah. In the long run, it benefits the woman more than the man. It's a man's world. Especially if you get divorced. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like ultimately, y'all could, y'all could hate me for it. Y'all go down in the comments and curse me the fuck out. It, that's just my opinion about it. Yeah. Like, and the thing is, bro, a lot of women don't understand that men, like, men don't want too much from a woman either. Like we really don't ask for a lot if you're if you're a real man. Yeah, if you're a real man. You know what I'm a, yeah, like if you're a real man, you ain't asking for too much. You're pretty much providing. If you're a real man, bro, you're the one that's providing. So you're not worried. You're not asking her for money. Yeah, you're not asking her for rides and this and that. Yeah, you're not worried about what she does for a profession. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like she makes her money, it's cool. You know what I'm saying. Like go make your money. But it's like, like I don't know, bro. Like to me, when it comes to marriage, it's more for the woman and for the title than it is for like oh like. Let's actually get married for the meaning. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's a that's a that's a big thing. It's a big it's a big step. But again, you know, some everyone's different, bro. Everyone's Facts. different. So we like that's just me and my personal opinion on on life and um, how I was raised and how I look at things, bro. Because everybody's raised differently, bro. Real shit. There's some people that I know that that grew up with, without no parents, real parents, and mm-hmm. they and they want they don't care because they had no parents. So facts like that's just they look at the world different. Yeah, bro. Everybody's walking in different shoes and looking at at things through a different lens, different lens. You know, like we're all just fucking living life, bro. We're all trying to figure it out. You know, we all have different backgrounds. We all have our own struggles. We all have different routines. Yeah, we have different routines. We all think differently. We all want different things in life. Or even if you want the same things in life, you might go about it differently. You know what I'm saying? Like we're just human, bro. But. And ru- routines is big. Yeah, bro. You got to have routines. Are, you know, listen, bro. You got to have a routine. But, yeah. but one thing I'd be <laughs> listen. One thing I'd be questioning, right? Ladies, another question, right? Yeah. We, what, what's, what's going on? What's What's your morning routine? What's going on in the morning? Yeah, like when you get up, like how how you looking? You looking like a fucking? Is your hair like a giant fucking bush? Listen, yeah, are you fucking? Hey, listen, you see it, the way I picture every woman waking up is they're hanging in the closet upside down. <laughs> they're hanging in the closet upside down. They wake up, <laughs> they drink a pint of fucking blood. Oh, shit. They're hanging there <laughs> And then like they bats? fucking go find their next victim they're, for the day. How hang, about that? They hang upside down. <laughs> like, like Dracula, fucking, bitch. Like fucking bats. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they, they wake up, they're like, whose day should I fuck up today? Facts. Ricky. Ricky at work. Yeah. I'm going to flirt with him. I'm going to flirt make with him. Fall in love. Make him and then miss. fuck his best friend. No, and <laughs> I'm going to flirt with him. I'm going to fucking tell him I love him. And then I'm going to fucking... Go find another job. And I'm gonna go <laughs> disappear. Fucking, I'm not even gonna fucking talk to him ever again. I'm gonna talk to him for eight months. So I'm gonna lead him on, but I'm really gonna be seeing Billy over here, and I'm just gonna leave your ass alone. After Next that. time you see me, he's gonna be on Billy's story. I'm gonna take all your money. I'm gonna suck you fucking dry, and I'm fucking getting the fuck out of here after that. All right, that's how these women are fucking thinking nowadays. It's scary, guys, homies. Watch Yo, your listen, fucking yeah, wallet. Nah, facts, bro. Watch your wallet. Watch your motherfucking house. <laughs> watch, watch your, your kids, car. Lock your windows. Lock, lock your, your windows. Lock your doors. <laughs> lock your doors. You better hide your keys too, because they'll take that car and take it for a routine. Hey, bro, routine. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? The routine of the week. You yeah. Know I mean? Nah, bro. But us men are pieces of shit too. We're we all fucking assholes. Yeah. I don't care what nobody says. Every, bro, we're all assholes. Yeah. Men, bro. women, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, bro. I don't know. But women, who cheat the most? Is it the guys or is it the women? Oh, women. Listen, I'm going to tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> women cheat the most. You think so? I think so. 
I think women cheat the most too. Listen, Hispanic men don't cheat. And that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, she, that's yeah. We're gonna get a lot of comments on that because you know that's Hispanic bullshit. men don't cheat, nah, bro. His, Hispanic men are like perfect. Bro. Come on, bro. Like we don't do that. No, nah, we, we don't. respect. We respect, and and you know what? She called me. <laughs> there's this girl, bro. She called me. Uh, she's like, you think you're all handsome and shit? Like, you know you what think, I mean? No, bitch. You he, think? Nah, I'm you handsome. think I'm fucking handsome? And two, <laughs> uh, baby, I need you. Nah, but she told me she's like. You can't get me with your little biomon ass. That's what it was. Biomon. It was a black chick too. She's like, you can't get me with your Rico Suave biomon <laughs> ass. I said, yo, that was smooth. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, suave. I'm, that made me want you more now. Listen, baby, I need you tonight. You yeah. coming to the show or not? Let me know. Nah. <laughs> fuck your show. You coming to the fucking hotel room? What the fuck we doing? Oh shit, nah, man. This is funny. But listen, man, ladies, let us know what your morning routine is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You wake up, wash your face, whatever the fuck. Whatever you do. Yeah. I, 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 I'm so taken by my theory. They wake up like Dracula and they see who's there. Do dating. you wake up? Gonna fuck up. Like, what's your routine, ladies? Like, do you wake up? Do you take a shit first? Do you wipe your face first? Like, what What do you do? You wipe your pussy first? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? What's your routine? Like, do you trim your legs before you shave it? Do, do you, you fucking. <laughs> Damn, bitch. <laughs> Are you hairy? Trim your legs before you <laughs> shave them. Are y'all hairy? Holy shit. Hairy How long did you let that shit go? All quarantine? <laughs> nah, there's some women that got hairy pits. Listen, and, and bro. I ain't talking Brad Pitt. I'm Is talking that about, one of the fetishes? Nah. <laughs> I don't know. But my shits are trim. Damn, bro. Yeah, nah, bro. I'm trim. I, I got my shits long, bro. My shits are bushy. <laughs> His shit's Probably are... hanging out the fucking shirt right now. I don't give a fuck. That shit's crawling the fuck out. Listen, I'm, nah, a, but, I'm a man. But women, just let me know, man, because I want to know that routine because, man, women are different, bro. They're dangerous. They're different. They're like a little fucking... No, no, no. They're little... Can I, listen, their brains they're dangerous. work like fucking masterminds. They're masterminds. They're masterminds in this They're masterminds, bro. Bro, like, we think that we're so fucking <laughs> suave, yeah. and they let us. Yeah, they, they let, let us. us. They're like, crazy. oh yeah, Papi, you look good. Oh my god! And that's, then they fucking and then they walk away. They're like, they're, this they're guy's fuck, a fucking yeah. This the guy's whole no group swag. of girls is like, yo, that guy's a fucking dweeb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking sitting at a table with a group of girls and they flirting with you. The the, the one second you go take a piss, they Facts. they come out. Oh my god, this guy's a fucking piece of shit. He's a thirsty. I bet you I'll finesse him to get a shot. Yeah, I bet like. you. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet he'll pay our tab right now? They're fucking bro, us men we're retarded, bro. And then we, fuck, and then we do it because we think it's a flirt. You, yeah, you, 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 you and your girl. Yeah, you and your girl. Yo, and then you walk in the club and you never see them bitches again. No, you fucking take them <laughs> home and they're like, have a good night. You know what I mean? Nah, bro. Like <sighs> us men, bro. Like we do the same shit. So it's like the women. Yeah. The women know. Like, damn, this guy, bro. This guy ain't different from fucking Jimmy. You know what I mean? He, yeah. Like, I yeah. don't know, bro. I feel like. But I'm a smooth ass dude. Like I had a girl tell me she was just like, "Yo, that was smooth," and I was just like, "Yeah, I know." You know what I mean? I had to let them know. Like, I said what I said, and I meant it. You know what I mean? And they're they're like, "Oh <laughs> shit." Like, yeah, nah. If you're not saying what you mean, shut the fuck up. Yeah, facts, nah. <laughs> but for a girl to let you know, hey, you smooth. That was smooth. They're impressed. Yeah, they're nah. Impressed. Facts. They're facts. impressed. If they let you know, if they go out of their way and they're like, you know, what? that was pretty smooth. They're impressed. I've seen. My dog say he gets more pussy than a fucking. The thing is, I like to flirt for fun. It's like a hobby. Yeah, nah. It is fun. It is fun. It's fun to and me. And you run people's minds, bro. They get to wondering and shit. I like, like to fuck people's mind up. I like to fuck <laughs> women's minds up. I like to be like, yo, I ain't going to respond for three days. Or I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to leave her on We've talked about it a hundred times, yeah, bro. The like, toxic shit. If yeah. you're not being toxic with John, bro, he ain't even fucking entertaining. I'm it. not, I'm not even trying to talk. I ain't even trying to look your way. If you're too nice, don't even bro, look at me. Bro, if you don't come with a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Domestic assault. Already nah. on your fucking record, he don't want it. If you didn't try to cut a, a nigga one time or two, nah. You know if you don't saying? take med, if you don't take bipolar medicine on a weekly basis, <laughs> I don't want you. I don't want it. I don't want to hear. If you're not gonna give me a headache and then resolve the headache by giving me some head, no. Nah, if you make my head hurt, you gotta alleviate it. That was J Cole. <laughs> J. Cole if you make bar. my head hurt, you gotta alleviate the headache. Yeah, you know brother. I mean? Yeah, man. But women, we love you. Um, you're really mysterious. And yeah, no, you're the most find- mystical, amazing, beautiful, scary fucking creatures on earth. The most scariest thing I've ever like. Met. I don't know how to explain it, but I love it at the same time. Yeah, so. no, we love it. We so love just it. keep doing what you're doing.